Hello everyone, I hope you're having a good day and in this video I'm out down at the river looking for otters and now I've never actually seen otters out in the wild here in the UK and so if I do find one I'm going to be extremely happy but as you can probably see it's extremely flooded from the amount of rain we've had recently so I don't know how lucky we're going to be but you'll never know if you don't try will you so and also, a little challenge for you, this logo here, in the comment section, leave your guesses for what film it's from, because like all my friends and family when they've seen it, none of them have known, and so yeah, little challenge, let's see who knows. So there are around 13 different species I believe of otter around the world. And here in the UK, it's well, the European otter. And they get to an average size of around one meter in length. And as you can probably guess, their diet consists of mainly fish. In fact, it's around 80% of their diet. But they'll eat basically anything they can get their hands on. Frogs, uh, small like birds and stuff, anything. And otters are members of the mustelid family, which is the same as badgers, weasels, stoats, and all those kind of animals. But they're the only semi-aquatic species, or at least the only true semi-aquatic species, because animals such as weasels and stoats will venture into the water from time to time to catch prey. But, as I'm sure you're aware, otters spend almost all their time in the water. That's what we want to see. That's a good sign, because it's well, this sign saying that they're in the area. Right, so there's all these fishing pegs, which I'm stood on right now, uh, dotted along the banks of the river. And because they're so close to the edge of the water, I'm just checking each one and seeing if in the mud around them, whether there's any otter footprints or any just sign that they've been in the area. Because I think, because it's like, well, look, it's all so overgrown. I'm not going to be able to see anything anywhere else apart from on these fishing pegs. And so, just going along each one, I think it's going to be my best chance of spotting any signs of them in the area. And also it just allows me to get down by the water edge and kind of look around the area and see if I can see any in the water themselves. years ago now I think it was um, somebody posted a video of some otters on the river in my town and well because nobody had really ever seen them there tons of people flooded to go see them and scared them off and I heard that on the river behind me now there was also some otters but for the reasons of what happened in my town I don't want to say where I am or anything just to protect the otters and just leave them alone because well they're quite rare here and just knowing that they're in the area is amazing and I want to help protect them and just keep them safe, you know? Yeah, I think this strong current's just gonna put them off because I've seen no signs yet still just nothing, there's hardly anything really, there's just a few birds. So yeah. Alright, so so far I've been out for an hour maybe, and I've had no, I've seen nothing. I've seen no signs of them, heard nothing, seen nothing, so don't know if I'm going to see anything today, but I'm going to keep trying, I'm going to keep moving down the river and just see what I can find really. see it on camera but that's like yellowy going just into the stream which then feeds into the river so yeah as I thought I haven't seen anything I've been out almost all day now just wandering up and down the river going to multiple different locations as well along the same stretch of river though 
just trying to find any signs of the otters and I haven't seen anything but I forgot to mention I think the studio is going to be coming out on New Year's Day so Happy New Year's everyone hope you all had a good night last night and well hope 2022 is a bit better than the last pa the past couple years for us all so for now it's goodbye and I'll see you in the next episode